What's up? What's, what's up? up? All right, we are back. We are back. And today we're going to listen in. New Yorkers think obesity stems from racism. Mm. <laughs> what? Oh, well, I tell you what. Uh, so it's like, is the food racist or is it? It's everything racist. Everything racist. Okay, but okay. New Yorkers think obesity stems from racism, but racism is like a prejudice against a person based on a color or 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 something. So you think because you're obese. It plays a role in you being racist. Racist. Let's get to it, man. I, All right, let's see what let's see what New York got to say. We down here in Florida, so <laughs> that's crazy. We gonna see. The racism that you're experiencing and the struggle to make ends meet actually means the diet don't work for you the same. The increase in obesity across the U.S. is troubling, but particularly in the black community, where obesity among black Americans is significantly worse than white Americans. I'm Ami Horowitz, and I'm here in Woketown, USA, to ask people why they think there's a higher level of obesity in the black community. Everything has to do with racism. Racism. Uh, I would call it institutional racism. Eating could be a coping mechanism. Or for racism? Yeah. Because you feel bad. It's like depression based, so maybe the stress of um, racism maybe does contribute. And black people deal with racism every day, and that leads to bad food choices. Oh, God, absolutely. <laughs> you feel stressed out. What's going, what's going on? You okay? Okay. okay. Education is a factor as well. Um, which also ties into racism, you know, like racism. They're not being educated as to what is good to eat, what is not good to eat. Yeah. Then you're not going to be able to choose the right things for you, especially if you don't know about them, too. There's a lot more in-depth stuff that uh, predominantly, like, a lot of white people are more in tune with. I don't know how to be healthy. See, I got some weed I'm trying to roll up. You stopped me at a bad time. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> Honestly, the argument <laughs> that you should, you know, have individual responsibility when it comes to, like, any of the major issues that we face, and I have to especially relate to, to racism, is, like, completely... Individual. Also, I guess he's not from the hood. No. Because he's skinny. So he's middle class. So what class um, do Does the obesity um, fall in? You know what I'm saying? As far as I, racism. I thought I, I see people different. So if I go to, to um, uh, income the, levels, the, that... the slums, the, uh, uh, the projects, I ain't gonna say really? slums, sorry about that. I go to the projects, and, and so everybody in the apartment complex should be fat. No. Okay, so what are they talking about? <laughs> Black people, I guess, are not educated enough to know what's healthy for them. I think they, I think they know what's healthy for us, but at the end of the day, it depends on what you can afford. Because a lot of times, you can't afford the healthy but food. what does that have to do with Then race? on top of that, the healthy food sometimes tastes nasty. But what does that have to do with your race? Huh? What does it has nothing to do? to do with race. It has nothing to do with So I'm over here. It confused. has a little bit to do with poverty. It has something to do with poverty and what you can afford. Exactly. Um, it has nothing to do but with again, racism. No, let's say racism, not race. Okay, racism. So, so you're so you mean to tell me when I get in my car, my car is gonna automatically take me to Popeyes. Um, no. Every day. It, it I have to gas. basically drive that car to Popeyes, order that food, and go home and eat it or whatever. But let's say if I, if I choose to go to a tropical smoothie or to the Whole Foods store. And grab some food from there. I'm making the choice. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. When I grew up in the hood, I had never thought about a tropical smoothie. I never <laughs> thought about going to no food store. This is what I did. I got off work, got me some Hennessy, got me some um, church chicken. I did not go to Popeye's chicken. That was expensive. I wasn't spending all my money at Popeye's chicken. Got me some church chicken, get some food on my stomach. I was good. I grew up in the hood. She she grew up on the, uh, the other side. Well, but my I was, I was grandma in the hood, man. wanted Popeyes or she See, that, that was uppity. herself. Y'all was uppity, man. But I mean, but grandma got food stamps, and my uncles them my uncles and you know my uncles who would live at the house would like give her money, and we would go to the grocery store and buy food, and we would cook at home, and 
but if she wanted like something to mm. eat um out she Popeyes um she stopped doing ra uh, rallies because after the whole little incident thing so her thing was like Burger King um and then okay. she always wanted to I go to like the little nice little restaurant when you first met me um you know um the only restaurant I went to and I'm ashamed to say this was Golden Corral. That was that was the top of the line for me. And he it's thought that sad. was it. But that's what that's what my family did. You know what I'm saying? I grew up on the other side of the fence, and I had to learn that it's better things out there. But I thought Golden Corral, man, they had the buffet, all you can eat, man. I'm like this is this this is nice. Can I get like, a menu, please? <laughs> I'm like this is nice, man. This is nice. You know so. <laughs> but. You know, we but like, <laughs> but that's what you but that's how you grew up. So that's, so that's how I grew up. Even though I grew up okay, so the area of town that I grew up in, it was um considered um uh straight it was a, considered an old um neighborhood. But it started off with more white families living in the neighborhood mm -hmm. and then more black families came in. Now, my family was one of the few black people that was on that street. Yeah. But we were looked at differently because of the side of the the um, street we were, we were on, even though we went to school across the main street, we were looked at differently when we went when people found out where we lived. They thought mm -hmm. they called us, they called me a uh, ugly black girl. Mm -hmm. I never understood that. Like, I my mom, we get food stamps and everything still, um, and but we I was considered the uppity black girl at wow. school and. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends where people just felt like I so just... Uppity. I was not uppity. That's the thing. Oh. I caught the school bus. <laughs> like everybody else, I, I did not do anything different with the school. Did mm -hmm. what I was supposed to do. And basically because when people found out where we lived, the side of the street we lived on, uh, we would consider the, 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 you know, the uppity black people. Wow. So, but the thing is, my opinion, I don't think it's um, because of racism. I think it's no. because of poverty. It's my opinion now. I mean, but it could poverty, be a lack of poverty, education. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to get there. Okay. Poverty and education. Mm -hmm. That's that's the problem. That's my opinion. Yep. You know, we all entitled to our own opinions. But that's, mm -hmm. for. I'm going by how I grew up. You know, we didn't have that. Man, we had to eat mayonnaise sandwiches and, and um, sugar sandwiches. You know, you probably had cinnamon. We, we know, we, man, you got, you got, I grew up in a, a crackhead house. I mean, we did do eggs and rice. Eggs and rice, that's a delicacy. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah, man, you talking about man, eggs and rice? That's yeah, rich, man. But when we, I was growing up, that was a rich man food, man. You, you was doing good. And we I'm, had to use listen, butter or oil. I'm talking about so sugar bread. You put the sugar on the doggone bread, you toast it in the oven. It's called sugar bread. Mayonnaise sandwich. We had grits? We had grits. But oh, let's that's, get back to it. Going. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So I definitely don't think it's an individual responsibility. If you say individual responsibility, is that coming from a white privilege and white supremacy? 100 percent, yes. They don't have any access to good food. Yeah, they live in food deserts. There's no nutritious food. Yeah, they're all like provided with really like bad quality food because it's cheaper to like manufacturing, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Yeah, like, you know, there's more dolls there. So we don't get, like, like name brand food? Let's see, have access, have Boston access. Boston Corp of America was looking to short. You don't have okay. access. No. You said, we, no. We, you chained to a fence. You don't have access. <laughs> no. So, I told y'all already, I already, I have been babysitting my grandkids. So, like, my grandson, my grand, my, my grand boy, he only eats the frozen pancakes, Nella wafers, and graham crackers. <laughs> that's, that's all he eats, right? He's three. I call him grand man. Grand, <laughs> my my grand boy. That is all. I call him grand man. No, <laughs> that grand boy, grand man. Grand boy. Oh, he anyway. just he like he just like cookies, man. He walk up to so, you. So cookies. So <laughs> y'all know Nella wafers are four dollars and like fifty cent a box. So I was just like doing my little Walmart pickup or uh, delivery to the house, and um, I would get like three boxes of Nella wafers and two boxes of. Graham crackers and then like four dollars a, a box for each one of these things. So I was like, you know what? His mama not giving me any change, and my my last teacher pay, paycheck about to come. I'm gonna have to change up this. So I ordered the the uh, the Walmart brand. 
And my daughter started downstairs and she's like, Mom, what is this dude in the cabinet? Who ordered this off brand, non name brand? Who said Cook that? Taylor. Oh, okay, okay. I thought the one uh, that. That just yeah. moved in? No, no, no. But yeah, she asked me. I thought me, the one of Brandon Babel over said that. No. Okay. My, my daughter said, Mom, who ordered this off brand? We don't eat this. And I was like, Well, I understand your concern. Um, but these were a dollar and seventy three cents. Um, I was raised different, man. We had pig ears. You either eat the food or you go to bed. So home. I had you go to bed hungry. But no, it, it, I had it, it wasn't. It was. It wasn't no. Um, uh, you had a choice: eat the food or go to bed hungry. Well, I had to explain to her why Grandma brought the little cheap little cookies, and I let her know, like, look, hey, if you want banana pudding. No, I'm not using these cookies for banana pudding. I'm going to go back to the store, and I will get Nella wafers. I will go get four boxes. Man, because you mean I'm cooking three meals for these kids. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? I'll be, be looking like, what the world? They want a hot breakfast. They can have a one hot breakfast, not five hot breakfasts. They have to have a one every day. Every day. one of them want different Okay, things. so this morning, CC wanted um, grits, eggs, and sausage. Taylor made French toast sticks. And Grand boy. Like, he's like 15, 18. She, they're actually 19. 18 and 24. Yeah, 18 and yeah, 24. 18, 24. Yeah, you still couldn't so, breakfast for Grand girl wanted French toast sticks. And then grand boy ate frozen pancakes. We're going to get off topic, baby. We're going to be off I'm topic. Sorry. Okay, you back. <laughs> boy, the black community could therefore put a lot of this stuff in there. Um, I think, um, definitely under some administrations for sure. I, I personally could believe that. I really could. Do you think it's a conscious decision by the administration America to destroy the I black mean, community by making sure they have all these unhealthy choices? Yeah, I think it's possible. Awesome. I think they feel like where Whole Foods are, where Trader Joe's are, where, like, just bougie grocery stores are. They're all in white neighborhoods. All of them. Yeah, like, there's no Whole Foods there. We're here in the heart of Harlem to find out if what we just heard is true. I, I agree with the whole thing. Is the obesity rate in the black community because of racism? I think it's because of probably what they eat. And because of the way we eat meat. I have a choice to eat healthy or not. You know, not making the choices. So I'm going to say like to eat healthier. Life choices, exercise, mm -hmm. food choices. I'm not going to take that. Yeah, I'm going to think it's, it's other things. I just think people need to watch their eating habits. Amen. That's all. And don't, don't see that. Not because of racism. <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't think so. I think if one has to take control of their own health, it's also down to you know the individual in the household and what they learn from the family around them, what they yeah. see around them as well. It's like saying we don't know what we're doing at the time, and we're making the choices we make. In some, in many instances, knowing the consequences of the long run. People eat food and they like different food. Some people like that being on a diet. Some people like running. Some people don't. Individual choices. Everybody should be accountable for themselves. Do you think it's racist to say that personal choice? Nah, it's not. They said to me that saying that about black people is racist. It's like saying black people don't have free will. Black people don't have agency. Mm. Exactly. That's just Isn't nonsense. that racist? Yes. A little bit to me, yes. It's very weird to hear to me personally. In a black neighborhood, they deal with racism so often in the day that they stress eat. What? <laughs> <laughs> Now, if they put a big hamburger place and you keep going to it and you gain weight, they didn't make you go in there. That's what I'm looking at. Whose fault is that? That's the person that's going in there. I know that's right. This guy that opened his business. I'm fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. Thank you. Appreciate that. If you go to a white supermarket when you walk in, the first thing you see is fruits and vegetables. You go to a black supermarket, you walk in, the first thing you see is cakes, cookies, and, and, and fat. But is that because they know that's their market or because they know that that's their market and we yeah. have to we us we have to be awakened to what's going on what are you eating tonight uh i already had lunch had some chicken and rice for lunch might just make some uh, nice steak tonight with some rice again protein shake call it night i'm doing a master cleanse right now i took it ownership of my weight and my weight gain so you have to take ownership of your own health mm -hmm. your own weight Y'all doing some good stuff in Harlem, you feel me? I'm not a racist. No, it's not. No, this, this point is about f***ing, right? <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. Wow. Well. Oh, that was 
happened. That's wow. It. Oh gosh. Whew. That, that, that was stupid. <laughs> Dumb question. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I ate. Hey, y'all would talk about me. I, I, just, I just, I just said, dumb, yeah, man. I, I, I lost time, man. People stopping and, man, I got, I got somewhere to go, man. You asked me, was but I lost hope, though. Me, huh? the, the, the first part, they kind of scared the crap out of me. Uh, I guess at it, least it, the, it, it got better when it started with black folks. You know, you got straight to the source. You get but when the, lady, the source. when the lady said, are you stressing because you you encounter racism every uh, all day or throughout the day? <laughs> She's like, no, I'm not dumb. It ain't be the case. We have we have some we've been fat slaves. I mean, you say a scratch for racism, it'll be overweight slaves. You know, say so they eating all the all the. I don't know what they eating everything. Oh, just eat everything. <laughs> <sighs> Didn't think about. That I was one. about to say vegetables. But vegetables don't be, you know what? I was thinking, man, um, okay, we had a rabbit, right? I don't <laughs> think he was vegetable. He still got fat. I didn't understand that. I said, how did a rabbit get fat? Y'all explain that to me. This rabbit is so fat. I'm like, dude, you eat vegetables all day. <laughs> <laughs> so, do it matter what you eat? <laughs> well, it, it does. But I, I think everything is more portion control. Now, mm. I know for me, um... You know, growing up where I grew up, you know, like I said, we, my grandma cooked, my mama cooked, so we had some good meals, um, just about all the time. And then, you know, moving out of my own, being able to go to the grocery store, you want to get things that, um, your kids want to eat. And this guy right here was always want to tell the kids that, hey, let me make sure the food is safe for you, let me taste some. So, of course, what you gonna do? You gonna take four, four or five or six of the kids' french fries? And then you got your own food. No, the excuse just to eat their food. <laughs> so, again, but but you make the choice to do that. Yeah. So then when the kids got hip to that, they're like, Dad, you're not checking our food. You're just eating our food. But again, but as the years went on, you begin to see like, hey, okay, that little pudge right there is, you know, getting big and it ain't going nowhere. So now I have to make some better choices. Yeah. I went to the doctor and got educated on nutrition myself i had to go find it myself that's what it's about just hey if you have health insurance or even if they have like medical clinics in your area or like little wellness checks at least be honest find out about your own this, nutrition this, everyone has either iphone or android phone and mm -hmm. android android in this phone in the phones they have something called google you can Google what's healthy. It was not healthy. It's really no excuse, man. Everyone has a phone. Everybody. Listen, I seen a bum with a phone. Lay it down. Person homeless person. I'm sorry, homeless person. I, I, I'm going to correct that because people know what a bum is. But a homeless person <laughs> <laughs> with a phone. And what I'm saying is, I'm, just making it, I'm making a point that everyone has a phone, so it's no excuse to not know but what's healthy. Educate your, but you can really educate yourself. I mean, like even when you even going to the smoothie places, that 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 sugar thingy they put in there, whatever it's called, the Splendor. No, not that one, not the Splendor. But I'm just saying, like when you go to to the smoothie places, even going there, you want to make sure that you're getting mm -hmm. a product that doesn't have extra sugar in it, yeah, exactly. or if you exactly. get a, a sugar al alternative, or no mm -hmm. sugar at all. But those are still some things that you have to educate yourself yeah. on. Okay, I'll go to the nutrition when we had really started getting into. Like losing those french fries we kept stealing from our kids. Weight, we was like, look, we got to check out the um, nutritional um, menu to see exactly how much sugar, yeah. um, how many carbs. She can take for um, a day, right? Yeah. Like 27 grams. So, yeah. So, we yeah. even downloaded these different apps on our Android and Apple phones just so that we could educate ourselves on like, Apple. hey. But it's still still call it Apple phone, what, what, iPhone. Stop trying me. The phone. Call it anyway. an iPhone. I don't don't be calling it Apple phone. Whatever Apple phone. <laughs> I have a, I have an Android. Leave me alone. A robot but, phone. <laughs> but either way, it, when it got to the phone, what phone? Yeah, the robot on the Android. Of what phone? Yes, when the robot come up. Regardless of what phone you have, you can educate yourself on what it is. But it has nothing to do with race. Race in it. Man, it's, it's nothing to do with racism. It's, man. It, it, it can't. I've it has a little to do with poverty, that. you know, because these are to go to McDonald's and get a um, and work out dollar menus. 
man, give me that dollar burger. Um, yeah, that's that's fry. easy. You know, and, hey, man, I get full of McDonald's. But now, how many days are you gonna do that? Man, to be, I'm gonna be honest with you. A lot of times, I used to go every day. I mean, I was, I mean, I, I didn't have anything. <coughs> so McDonald's was the the meal for me. Mm -hmm. We had a place called the Sheiks, and that Sheik, <coughs> I get the Sheiks up every evening for dinner. Well, when I worked at Florida Blue, we had a you had different areas that you could like go eat, and I always went to the little um, sandwich wrap people and got me a little um, tuna with my little you got spinach a wrap? wrap. I didn't know what a wrap was. Mm -hmm. I, I know what a wrap you. is now, but you know what a wrap is now. He know what a smoothie is now. Sushi. I don't eat sushi, but he know what that is, and he won't stop. Um, the good fish, not just tilapia. I ain't got nothing against tilapia, but I got nothing, I had nothing against tilapia either. The but there, tilapia man. is not the only fish. Mm. Salmon is not the only fish either. No. You got a red snapper. You got a red Oh. Mahi Mahi. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even talk Rupa. about it. We're not even going. What? We're not even going to go in. But uh, you have to educate yourself. You do. You have to educate yourself. So, um. That was a crazy question. That, that was. But, um. You guys, peace.